Hi, I'm Kevin with Epwell Solutions. Today we're going to be installing a deep well hand pump kit. Besides the kit, you're going to need some PVC pipe, some glue, and a uh, hand cutter or a uh, hand saw. Uh, you'll need a drill with a 1 16th drill bit and an inch and 3 8 hole saw. Some optional tools would be a hand clamp and some nylon rope. So you're gonna need two different sizes of PVC thin wall pipe, one inch and half an inch. And if you can't locally get the half an inch in the thin wall pipe, you can use Schedule 40. The downsizer sides are gonna be more weight, more friction, and less volume. So that's why we recommend using the thin wall pipe. You're gonna need enough pipe to go 10 to 20 feet below your static water level. If you have a well casing smaller than six inch, you're gonna want even more room for additional drawdown. The well we're gonna be uh, installing it on today has a well report that states the static water level is at four feet down. Now that was done during the winter and we're here September, late summer. We're assuming we're probably maybe 10 to 15 feet down. So we've got enough pipe here to do 20 feet and then we have some extra just in case that static water level is actually deeper than we thought. All right, we're gonna go ahead and open up our kit, see what's in here. So I've got our installation manual. Got our handle with our cap. This is all of our fittings or unions that connect all the pipes together. And this is our pump piston. Our foot valve and the slide. Now we're gonna go ahead and test our hand pump. We're gonna put it in a bucket of water and stroke it a few times till the water's coming out just to make sure it's working before we install it. Next thing we need to do is go ahead and remove our well cap. You've got your four bolts here we'll need to remove. We'll go from there. Okay, at this point you're gonna want to look down your well, find the best spot that's unobstructed for that pipe to go down and then line up where you're going to want to drill your hole that represents that same spot. Now we're gonna go ahead and put some couplers on this cap with about a two inch piece of pipe in between. So we're gonna start gluing up our pipes now. Since these half inch pipes only come in 10 foot sections from our local distributor, we're gonna go ahead and glue two of them together so we get our 20 feet. Then we'll go ahead and glue that to our piston here. Quick tip on gluing, you're gonna to wanna to use a small applicator like this small can or you can use like a Q-tip or something and not to use too much glue that it 
either gets inside and restricts the flow or on the outside gets hung up or gets glued to your one inch pipe because this needs to be able to slide back and forth. And when you're putting it together, just give it a quick little quarter turn that helps distribute the glue evenly. Now we're gonna take our one inch pipe, we're gonna slide that down over top of the half inch and we're gonna glue it to this coupler. Okay, we're gonna glue this fitting here on the pump itself. Because of the tightness in here, we can't stick the glue in here. Plus you don't want any excess glue inside there. So we're just gonna be gluing the pipe. Uh, the particular glue we're using is a medium blue PVC cement. On the instructions it says uh, to allow for 15 minute dry time before handling. Um, read your glue, make sure that you understand how long it, some glues are different. Also the temperature, if it's cold out, you're gonna need to wait a little longer. Uh, you just don't want to rush this and it pull apart later. While we're waiting for the glue to dry, we're gonna go ahead and install the string on the piston pump just in case during installation it happens to slip out of your hand and fall into the well, you can retrieve it. Our glue's now dry, so we're gonna go ahead and install it. It is a whole lot easier to do with two people. So now we've got our pipe installed, we've got our string line tied off so that it won't drop out. We're gonna go ahead and grab a uh, clamp here and clamp that down so that we can test our hand pump. So now we've hit water, which is great, and it may take more pumps than that depending on the depth of your well. Um, and if it doesn't hit water, then we'll add some more length. We're gonna go ahead and glue this piece on that we had put together earlier onto here. And then while we're, that's drying, we're gonna go ahead and show you the handle. I'm gonna put a little glue, I'm gonna do it lightly though on, on this coupler because we don't want glue getting all over our pipe. So while our glue's drying, we're gonna go ahead and work on the handle. So I'll unpackage this. So you've got the main part, the handle, You've got a 90 if you want. You can attach that if you want it to dump like into a bucket. You could also put a threaded hose fitting on there or whatever you want. You can even leave it just like this and it just dumps straight out. Um, you've got the cap that when this is all finished, you'll be able to slide this cap over and remove the handle and it looks nice and clean. And then you have the threaded piece. So this is gonna be in here. This is gonna be attached to your handle. You can extend it if you, you know, if you happen to want to be standing more upright and your well head's really low. In our case, we're gonna do it pretty, pretty tight. And then you'll be able to thread it on, take the cap off, thread this on, utilize it, unthread it, put the cap back on, and nobody will know what that's there for. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna end up putting this threaded female part in here. Um, we want to make sure that when the cap's on that this isn't too high. So obviously we glued it up like this, cap would not be able to go down. So we're going to have to bring this down somewhere in this range right here. Um, not too low that we can't grab it. So we're going to go ahead and just look at this and pull this up just a little bit, cut it off and glue it and then we can drop that back down.
I'm also going to cut a little piece to go in the handle to connect this nail piece as well. At this point, we're going to go ahead and drill our 1 16th freeze hole 5 to 10 feet below ground level. We're going to go through the outer 1 inch and into the half an inch pipe. Now that 15 minutes have gone by, this glue has set. We're gonna go ahead and release our C-clamp and untie this string so we have slack on that. And drop this down and bolt it back together. Now that we have this assembled, I'm going to show you what it looks like when it's all capped. So if this is up a little bit, you can sit that back down, slide your cap on. That's what it normally will look like when you're not using it. If you need to use it, then you're going to slide that cap off. Obviously, you're not going to want to glue that. Then you're going to thread on your cap, or your, sorry, your handle. Just, you don't have to crank it down, just hand tight's good, and you're ready to operate. Okay, we're gonna quick demonstrate showing you how it works. We're gonna put the 90 degree elbow on there so it'll actually go in the bucket and not across the yard. Okay, not everybody has the situation where they hit water immediately, or if you have limited head height, like your wells in a garage or a well house or something like that, or you're doing a one-man operation, you just don't have somebody else to help you, you're gonna to need to add some additional pipe. So what you're gonna to want to do is go ahead and insert the half inch inside the one inch. Go ahead and glue on your half inch coupler and glue on your one inch coupler. Get that good. And then apply glue to your half inch, half inch coupler here. Put that on there, glue that obviously. We're not gluing it right now, just to show you. Glue here, put this on, wait your 15 minutes or whatever your glue states, and then you're gonna let go of the clamp and the, the string, you're gonna go down, do it all over again if you need more. And just keep doing that until you hit your water and you've gone deep enough that it's uh, not gonna run out of water while you're pumping. Thanks for watching our install video. If you have any questions, you can reach us at pump.epwellsolution.com or any of our uh, social media platforms.